So I'm making you Hainanese chicken, uh, chicken rice, chicken soup, bok choy with oyster sauce. Flavor the stock with vinegar. Some leeks. Cut it like so. Do this. I'm gonna boil it for 30 minutes and let it simmer for 15 minutes. So total cooking time is 45 minutes. I'm gonna make you a chicken rice using the chicken stock. My onions. Sesame. A little bit now. Just palm oil. Oh, something that me. So I'm gonna add the rice. You do this. Coat every grain with oil, and then add the stock. But when it cooks, it separates. When you cook Chinese food, there's always chicken. It's just not right in a way, or not complete without a little bit of some of this. But just make sure you don't overpower it. The powder. It's still gonna be, you know, my stock is good because more you know, I use chicken wing to intensify the chicken stuff. This is just para finishing touches. Nandiyan pa rin yung familiar. Pero hindi pag nagluto tayo, uh, nasa dulo lang yun. Hindi pwede na yung base na rin on season. So, kailangan nandiyan pa rin yung techniques, yung process, uh, yung slow cooking. So, while this is cooking, I will prepare the, the ginger. Then we slice it. Mmm, I smell the ginger. Every time I slice this, really, it's like Chinese chicken. But I love making this dish, but I'm, I've been doing, I've been cooking this dish since since I started cooking, or since I started cooking school. Every time I make this, um, you know, it's really nostalgic and a lot of good memories come in. I've also screwed up this dish so many times. But yeah, you learn from that screw up and you know, you find ways on how to make it better. Some people use the blender to make this or you can actually use the grater. Grated ginger, for me, is less flavorful because Dito pala nakikiga ko na yung juice eh. So naiwan na yung juice dito. Versus this, intact pa yung juice. And when you eat it, it's there. When you make Chinese food, the brand of the soy sauce matters. Or the brand of the sesame oil, the oyster sauce, soy sauce, it matters. So I got this from a Chinese grocery. The results are far more authentic versus say, you use Filipino soy sauce so then you get a Chinoy tasting uh, dish. So I'm gonna reduce the soy sauce. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. To, and yeah, to this pan, I'm gonna make the ginger sauce. Let's use more sesame oil. On a very, very low heat, I'm gonna slowly cook the ginger. On the heat. So when you slowly cook ginger, it's just like slowly cooking onions. You know, the flavor is not as sharp. It's must must be luxa. Next, I'm gonna add there is the leeks. Maybe they'll add more ginger. Us chefs, we actually do stress out at home too. And we do make mistakes. Much better. But I'm going to be in ginger sauce. This looks good too. I'm going to turn it off. It's good now. Mm. Let's check on the rice. So I'm using a fork so that I kind of like flop it. And it's like, it's going to break the texture of the laundry. Cut through with this, it just goes through it. So, with Hainanese chicken, it's not perfect. But it's not overcooked. Wow. It's not good. It's not good. Can you see the ice bath? So it just stops. This soup, I'm going to boil. Para it intensifies. I'm gonna flavor this soup now. 
fish sauce is like if I had soy sauce in the back then, I think rice wine. So the trick is boiling water, blanch really quick, always nice to have properly cooked vegetables. Nice and green and vibrant, textures crunchy. Normally it's cucumber, but I don't have cucumber, so I'm going to use some broccoli. That is a better syrup. Here we have it. That's not enough. Chef, it's the water is overflowing. Ah! Could be thicker. Could be thicker, but... <laughs> Enjoy guys, so it's, you know, it's easy but hard at the same time. Just don't give up. Don't give up and uh, just don't give substandard um, dishes. Alright guys, enjoy!